Oh, okay. I was wondering because I didn't know how to do this. It's my first time doing this. So I didn't really... No, you know, I was trying to be all lovey-dovey and, you know... Yeah, I saw that. I was I was watching. I was watching. Happy anniversary, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Y'all are you know, live longer and to celebrate many, many more, you know, beautiful kids and all that, you know? I'm yeah, I was I was thinking I was doing something wrong because I I, I pressed the request button, but Mara put on hold. There was oh, a, there was a chorus, there was a line in there I had to sing, so I'm like I practice all day, and I'm like you know I have to sing this on, on Facebook Live so people know that I love. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, that beautiful song, by the way. I was enjoying the song, you know. So <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. So welcome to my show. Yeah, thank you for having me. You know, I'm, I'm, I was I was actually shaking when you when you when you first uh, reached out to me, but um, yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, it's just it's just going to be a talk, you know. So I mean, let's just do it. And... It's gonna be a talk. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's it's gonna be what you do, which is make people smile. Because the whole point of this right now, like I mentioned over the phone, is to get people in a good vibe. You know. It's 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 Friday night. What would you be doing right now? You'd obviously be chilling with your friends, but with coronavirus, you can't really go anywhere. I'm got so yeah, they got. <laughs> it's, it's, it's important that we try and at least um, you know make people feel good. So introduce yourself, Mr. Mr. Jai, and Jared Rusna. Yeah, even the gurus, and you're not listening to your video. Actually, that's that's the thing. I'm very shy, you know, but I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I don't know if people can see my name, but um, I'm Gabriel Charles Njai. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm actually a, an engineer as well. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. With a, I don't know. Should I talk about my school background or educational background? Because people, okay, you know, a lot of people, you know, see what I do and then they think, ah, okay, this guy. I think this is only what he does. But I'm actually. Um, an engineer, company engineer mm-hmm. for that matter. Um, I have a master's in, my, in business administration as well. Oh. So, um, you hear that? Yeah. Kid? Stay in school. Sorry? <laughs> you, I'm trying to send the message. Stay in school. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so, um, yeah, I'm just, I mean, I'm just here. I've been, I've been working for this company, um, but we've not really been working these days because of the COVID and all that. So, that's why you see me a lot out there most of the time, you know, just trying to keep a, a level head and all that. So, mm-hmm. no kids, no wife. I mean, not that's yet. okay. Not yet. Not I'm yet. I'm still trying. You know, not yet. I'm still trying to be. Um, I'm still getting to where you are today. You know. I, I, trust me. I'm. Uh, he's doing that. <laughs> I mean, I've heard that a lot. They got a lot so many times. <laughs> but I mean. I mean, uh, no. how, how how bad can it how bad can it get? It can get as bad as you wake up one morning and you're like, ah, ah, what happened? What did I do? And then they do something so sweet, and you're like, okay, fat it, not Lolo, you know, let's just get on with it. Yeah, I so can the, it's, it's a it's a bit of a mixed emotion kind of relationship. Marriage is very different from dating. I can guarantee you that. Yeah, and I've heard there's that. There's no so secret many formula times. to find the perfect person. As long as you vibe, then that's the most important thing. So yeah, I mean, yeah, as long as you as long as you find <laughs> one person that because you, I mean, waking up to someone for the rest of your life is yeah. I don't think. <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys are used to that. You get used to that. Sorry. <laughs> Corona is real, but morning breath is real. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's one of the the problems that I think I would have to. <laughs> To, to to check before you know I jump into, <laughs> but we can work on it. If, if, there's, if we if we have that problem, we can work on it. You know exactly, so, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. what inspired you to to become a comedian? Because you're already an engineer and whatnot. What inspired this whole comic? Um, you know, because I saw I, I think you started with the COVID videos, like stay at home, and or did it start before that? I, I wouldn't call myself a comedian i just like to i mean i've always had this thing like um people always tell me that look when you're around people have fun people laugh people do this people i've never really paid attention to that you know what i'm saying i never really paid attention to that you know 
So a lot of people, example, when I, for example, when I say something or I do something, I'm like, yo, yo, like, people mm -hmm. like, your grandfather was like this or your father was like that. So I'm here thinking that, okay, if, I'm, I, if I have the ability to make people laugh, I mean, people are saying that I got it from my granddad, people are saying I got it from my dad, I don't know. But mm -hmm. um, I think it's, I don't, it was just, I've been doing videos for like as long as I can remember. You know, I mean, I crack jokes every time we're, we're um, in a group and all that, you know, stuff. Mm -hmm. But then TikTok came, okay? And then I, I was like, okay. It, yeah. Yeah, TikTok came and then, okay. Because I, I know a lot of people will be saying his jokes are original because you're using somebody else's voice and, and all that. But then mm -hmm. I've been making videos for, for a while, but I've not been sharing them out. I've not been making it public until COVID. I think that's when you started seeing these, you know, these, um, these videos. So it's when I just started... Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me just um, use this platform to see if I can um, step, step change. Oh, okay. Hello, little one. My son is coming. My son is coming to the set. Yeah. Bye, so... Booba. <laughs> bye, bye, Booba. <laughs> My son just snuck into the set. I forgot to close the door. Bring, bring him on the show. Bring him on the show. <laughs> no, no. Konduma Habimada. <laughs> but sorry you were saying my love you were saying yeah so i was saying and then um covid came and i was like okay um i think you know you can if you if you have the ability to do something why can't you use it to sensitize people you know so mm -hmm. it started at work in my office actually i would just sit down and i'll just think of a script and i'll just write it down you know like do my break time i'll just write it down and i would even get got to a point i would even um, put my colleagues in the videos as well, you know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I think one of them went out and I, it did well. People were like, "You should take this to another level." Blah blah blah. I was like, you know, um, I, I was watching your show yesterday with um with the other guy. What? Yeah, and he said something which I could relate. Really, you know, in Gambia things don't really um don't fly that well, you know. So mm -hmm. I, I was a bit skeptical. Like right? when people start talking about this, yeah. Like, you should, you should take it to another level, blah, blah, blah. It came to a point, I started doing one um, videos. I don't know if you saw that one. I think I did about two or three videos, still on COVID, but it was, yeah. not, on it was not TikTok, okay? It was just something I wrote, and I shot it with my brother, just using the phone and whatever, you understand? So, I mean, um, I don't know if that answers your oh, question. that's your brother. So, I was wondering who that was. That's your brother, okay. Yeah, that was my brother, yes. <laughs> that's and my little he, brother. Motion chat me. Listen, Chad, say... Um, once in a while, do you yeah, once in a while, I drag him into it. I think he's shy, but he has a TikTok account as well, but he's not really big on it as well. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. So, but once, once in a while, I drag him into it, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, so what, what, where do you see this in five years? Because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that want to know, like, are you doing it for the love of doing it? Are you doing it for financial gain? I know you have the the, the, the people thing going on, but do you ex like? Are you trying to build up on uh, the comedy and and turning it into an actual career? Are you that confident? What's your doubt? And what's your the, what do you think your doubts are and your strong points are as well? Um, first of all, I wouldn't want to. I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. No, it's okay. So no, I, was, okay. I was saying, yeah, um, if it happens, because someone asked me the same question yesterday, you know, like, do you see yourself um, taking this, 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 this career path? I was like, no. I mean, I wouldn't waste how many years in university just to become a comedian. But then yeah. when I was sleeping, yeah. I, before I slept, I thought about it. I was like, she asked me this question, and it was a really serious question. Let me just think about it. But I see, I, I see myself doing something on a higher level, on a higher, on a, high, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a on a on a bigger scale, you understand? Maybe outside mm -hmm. TikTok, because um, I feel like uh, we have the potential in Gambia. Because I've seen a lot of people. Like I don't know if you follow Gambian TikTok, but I've seen a lot of. I follow Gambian TikTok. Yeah, I've and seen I feel like Gambia TikTok needs to be more Gambian. Mm -hmm. That's my thing. Like, there's so many people that I I feel like if I'm to start something, um, I would definitely love to work with these people. So. Yeah, I can be the engineer on the side. I can do my 
I can have my daily hustle and everything, but I can also have this one. I don't mind putting myself out there as long as we have the support, you know, and all that. Um, uh, in, like from the, the, the what's it called again? Should I say the sector? The, 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 I don't know, the media sector. I don't know how I should call it. Because mm-hmm. I was actually learning a lot from Mr. Musa yesterday because I didn't know yeah, a lot of yeah. these things in the media. All I knew was just coming from the camera, just press some buttons and then edit it on my computer and I just post it. I didn't know how the media, the media it, sector it, it, really it, it, worked it, it in Gambia. Quite, it is quite a tough nut to crack. Mm-hmm. Especially being Gambia, um, what mm-hmm. would you like? I mean, in terms of sense of humor, I know people on YouTube and Facebook and things like that. They follow your videos and they find it funny. But in terms of the Gambian sense of humor, what would you describe the Gambian sense of humor like in a couple of? Lines? I think I think Gambians Gambians sense of humor is if if this is if this is middle, this is high, and this is low. Gambian, Gambian is between low and um, low and and, the, and and middle. Yeah, there's just just in between, because there's some. I mean, you see a lot of people, man. For example, there was one video I made about battle. I was so scared to post this video. Let me tell you, I'm telling you, because I was like, maybe a lot of people will not get this. You understand? You know, a lot of yeah. people might not might not get this, and then they might um they might take it the wrong way. They start throwing hate comments and at you and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because people here, you know. The, one of the main reasons why I actually got into this was because every time I wake up on and I go on social media, people are, it's either they're talking about politics or they're talking about, um, what's it called again? Politics COVID. Or, or, or COVID or, 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 or uh, you see obituaries everywhere. I'm like, you know what? Um, people are, people are, are facing so many challenges every day. I don't want to be the one to talk about If you pay attention, I never speak about, or, or you go to my timeline, I never talk about politics on my, on my Facebook, on my timeline. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. So I'll be like, let me just take, use a different um, platform, let me use this platform and just try something different. Try something that will mm-hmm. make people laugh, forget about all their worries. I mean, if I make somebody smile, one, even if it's just one person, I'm good. You understand? I mean... So are your sketches based on, like, when you write stuff, does it come from... Because I saw the relationship one. And I'm like, okay, is this coming from a personal experience or is it like when she's not answering the phone or you had the you have the bad cartel um baby i'm missing you or something like that and i was like okay is this guy oh. are these sketches coming from things that are actually real in your life oh you or follow you it? follow that one as well okay that one um i how did that tell one come truth. about tell the truth so, yeah okay i'll tell the truth <laughs> honestly how the first one came about um i i, I, don't know, I was listening to the song Honestly, I was just lying down in my, on my bed and I just listened to the song. And I don't know. I think at that time I was having a fight with someone. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know? What? So, no, no. Well, honestly, well, honestly, yeah, uh, what happened was um, I was like, okay, you know, I can, I, can, I can turn this song into something else. So when I posted it on TikTok, people were like, what about three months later or four months later? Yeah. Then I thought yeah. about it. Okay, maybe I should actually do Three months later, what happens? Three months later, four months later, in a in a new relationship, and then when I posted that one, somebody else commented. Yeah, I saw so many comments. Okay, what happens next? You're not picking up a call. You're not doing this. Okay, then I just started to write. I would, I would just go to the table and I just write. Okay, day three, day four, day five. What happens? So people, a lot of people were, were thought that I was talking from experience. Of course, I've had something like that before. Uh, I've, I've, that's what I wanted to hear. Before, <laughs> even you, I'm telling you, even you, sir. Yo, sir, I'm sure. Even Manza, I just wow. wonder, you know that bit when he's baby, can you come over? I remember, I remember <laughs> before I got married, and I remember, um, the, you know, when a guy would call you, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you have, have <laughs> to say, say, it say tricks, that, you know. It did bring back memories. It did bring back memories. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, I mean, when you're on the phone, you know, you you'll be talking on the phone with your girl. It's new. Ah, uh, now it. Leave my phone oh, yeah. alone. You don't you don't have time for anything else, you know, you just you know you don't even know what you're doing, you're just on the phone because you're all feeling all these butterflies in your tummy and everything, you're feeling all that. So you do everything. So I was like, you know, we just take it to another level. I can sit my toxic parenterbi, play with the broom, do this, do that. And then I don't know, at the end we got married somehow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. also, I also, I also know that you use. I mean, I mean, I know your 
you said you didn't want to focus too much on COVID, but I, I saw you, which this is why I even liked you from the beginning. You were sending messages out about COVID and wearing your mask and wash your hands and all of that. But mm -hmm. you were doing it in a hu like in a humor way. Did you get like any backlash? Because you're talking about something that's serious, which is COVID, and then you're adding humor to it. Did you get any backlash? Because hang up, do you want to understand your perspective? You know what I mean. So that's why I was like, okay, maybe T did have a few people that are like, bro, you're taking it like you know, people are dying. I think, I think I should say not yet. Not yet. Because maybe it might come later. But from so yeah. far, no. I don't really have anybody that's, that's, that's been, you know, hating or oh, saying sending amazing. backlashes or all that. Maybe they May get the message. May you messages continuously well. blessed. Sorry? <laughs> May you continuously be blessed with that. Amen to that. Amen. Because when Gambians go in, they go in hard and, and they're not very pleasant sometimes. So, yeah. Yeah, that's why, I, that guy's, that's why I was, you know, a bit, there was a time I was doing this one about the president. I was a bit skeptical about posting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I know when they, I mean, they take politics to a whole other level now. Everybody's a polit politician. Everybody's a mm -hmm. keyboard warrior nowadays. And I, I, I'm, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not here for that. I just, I'm just mm -hmm. here to have fun, make people laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if I can do it, then why not? I, I'm not here to offend anybody, you know. Mm -hmm. and I, you know, I think I followed something you said yesterday. Was it you or Mr. Musa I said something like, who made, a fun, who made fun of President Abdullah Wada? And he was actually, is it Kucha? I don't oh, know. Oh. And you know he was he was he was happy about it. I mean he he actually told him you're sai sang or whatever blah 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 you know, yeah, things yeah, like that. But yeah. here, man, people don't mess with that stuff around they here. Don't. You know? so, <laughs> so what? So, you know? so so um, have you thought about maybe okay if you could work with anybody in 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 the not just Gambia, it could be Gambian. Actually, I'm gonna do two sections to this. If you could work with any Gambian celebrity at the moment, musician or whatever, whatever. Who would it be? And if you could work with someone international, who okay. would it be? Okay. Oof, man, there are a lot, man. There are a lot. Yeah, there are a lot. yeah I love, I, I love, I mean, I'm, I'm loving Ghanaian music nowadays, you know, so um, I would. Actress? I would love to act with Mr. Mr. Musa as well. I've been following him since I was young. Because what he was, was my, my brother was actually in a movie with him before, Bajo Cops. Okay. Yeah. So I've I've, I've been following him. Um, I've been following him since. I'll I make sure he knows it. Yeah, he'll, 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 he will definitely not remember. I'm sure. But okay. my brother was very young by then. He was one of the thieves, the little thieves, you know, and he was the police. So he okay. had to. Yeah. He'll remember that. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Actually, I think. Internationally, I would love to love, love work with Chris Tucker. Yes, definitely. I love Chris Tucker so much. Chris Tucker. This guy, man. Oh, the guy he makes me laugh. Even in my sleep, I know every single line. I know everything that's about to come out of his mouth when he opens his mouth. You know, that's how much I like this guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's, <laughs> since the first time I watched him on Rush Hour, I've just been like, wow, this guy is amazing. You know, I watch yeah. his stand up comedy, his stand up shows. You know, I like Martin Lawrence as well. He's, he makes me laugh so crazy. I don't know. He's an actor, he's a comedian at the same time. Gambia, man. <sighs> Should I? The young yeah. generation now. Is TikTok, is TikTok allowed? Can I, can I go on TikTok? TikTok allowed. No. Yeah, okay. Allowed. TikTok, we have so many people like Nice Boy. I mean, this is awesome. Yeah, we have Lebanon Killer. He's awesome as well. We have um, Cadiz. She's awesome. We have Aminata. She's awesome. I mean, they, we have very good actors on, on, um, on, um, on TikTok, which I think, Look, if they really concentrate on um, taking this thing further, they might really do well outside TikTok as well, you know. Actually, somebody, I had my neighbor, he's an American now. He said to me, he just sent me, he's been following me like almost a month now. He's saying, look, I've been watching Senegalese um, theaters and all this stuff. And I believe you can do something like this. Why can't you? Start something like this in Gambia. I mean, look how many of you. I to go into that. Like, why don't yeah. Because, like, from our conversation, you sound like somebody that can go into production, you know, like producing your own things or even co directing. Yeah. I think you, like, the problem is we have so many production houses um, and we have so much talent that's just sitting on social media. 
Yeah. But we need to, to, to connect the right people. And I think that you're one of the people that can actually take this further and actually do something with it and get more characters and things like that. You know, yeah. I, what, what, what would you say to that? Like, would you have an idea? Well, my busy, my busy way. Yeah. Yeah, we busy, we busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this guy was like, um, I don't mind. I can sponsor everything. Just, you know, just let me know when you're ready. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, bro, I don't even know where to start from, honestly. I don't even know where to start from. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not exposed to the, the, what's it called, the industry like that, mm -hmm. you know, so I wouldn't know where to start from. But I mean, everything starts with, with, with baby, a little bit of baby step. I mean, if you start just asking questions, you just start asking questions and all that, you might get to, I mean, where you want to go later and then maybe, who knows we might be able to do it we might be able to pull it off who knows mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know we'll see how it goes because actually i don't i think the last senegalese theater i watched was dinamane that was like i think three four years ago yeah you know? and i mean i he sent me one and i just i just watched like the first 30 minutes of it and it was really good you know mm -hmm. and i saw like millions of viewers were watching this I was like, wow. Yeah, and, it, and, mm. it, and it's the thing with YouTube, which is why um, things need to come off Facebook and go onto YouTube, because you mm. can actually make money from this and start things with it, because the more subscribers you have, people don't understand there's money involved in it, The people just don't do videos for, for, for entertainment. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you have followers and these people subscribe, you can actually raise funds for them. So, yeah. this is why I'm like, why don't you start a series and things like that? I, I, I think it'd be one of the things that would work out in your favor. But what do I know? You know? What do I know? I mean, you, you, <laughs> I'm sure you know a lot, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 trust me. Um, I'm sure you know a lot. So, so, so what are you like at home? What's the family structure like? I know you're not married or anything like that, but just tell us a bit about yourself. You know, your Sorry? family. Sorry? Like, what, what's the family structure like for you? Like, you know, um, your parents and things like that. What do they think about? What's the family support structure around what you're doing at the moment? Do they know yeah. that you're doing Because I've had someone that is like, oh, okay, how many I'm going to left it? So I was like, okay, because you can't come on my show. Like, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I mean, every, everybody knows, man. Everybody knows. Like, Gambia is so small. Like, my, my dad got gone on TikTok just to watch my videos, you know. Oh. I told him, if you ever, if you ever comment on my video or ever like my video, <laughs> that's it. I'm, honest, I'm, I'm uninstalling your, your, your TikTok account, okay? And my mom actually knows, you know, because every time... ...you know, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, and then... <laughs> No, the cover, the cover belongs to my grandma. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, can you see me? Huh? Can you see me? Um, you're uh, frozen. I'm frozen. Yeah, I don't know why. Just keep talking. Just send internet. Do not want give up the internet thing? I'm able to make any. Hey, barrel new, new internet. Hey, it's on point. It's on point. So yeah, what's we'll so up, Hannah? Don't you want to choose <laughs> no, yeah, actually this bomb is but we we're good, we're good over here. So yeah, I was saying, um what was I saying again? Yeah, so I'm gonna like yeah, yeah, I'm gonna slim such a musura and be like, what are you doing with my 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 head tie? I'm like nothing. Mm -hmm. And the next minute she goes to church, like even last Sunday, she came to me. She didn't know about the video, like she doesn't have she's not on TikTok. So she's she just came to me and said, Baro, Baro, Ananga. I was like, who are you calling Baro? Someone said that you did a video of Baro on face on TikTok. I was like, who said that to you? I was like, what? <laughs> so you know, she even if she doesn't see me doing it, she hears about me every time. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we. So you were asking about the family structure. Yeah, we're we're just three boys, no sisters. Um, no. Yeah, my my mom and dad are here. Um, my grandma stays with us. Kebab mila sacha, by the way. I reveal mm -hmm. that to you. This is the first platform I revealed that. Everybody keeps asking me, um, I never I never said anything. <laughs> but we love the cover. Where are you going? <laughs> I think I think that was my favorite one. 
um, when you when you did the skit with her in in the garden. Um, he was gonna crack I'm sure he'll come back um, in a minute because it's a network. Hey Gambi, Gambi, you guys are ruining my shows, man. You're ruining my shows. But um, let me kick him in. Hey, you are. You back? Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, you're back. You're back. You're back. So um, in terms of comedy, and I know you're an engineer. Anything else you get into? Um. Before COVID. Before COVID, no, I was just I was just working, man, just hustling, you know. Um, yeah. Before COVID, I mean, I found new hobbies actually, but you know, I I, I got myself into learning how to use this um, Adobe Adobe Plat softwares, Premiere, you know, After Effects and all these things. So I'm like, I mean, I don't have to I don't have to stay at home just being useless. I'm not working these days. I can just learn something else, you know. Before, before, before COVID, there was nothing much. I was just working, but now during COVID, I'm actually learning a lot, doing so many things, you know. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, I my special card. I saw this yesterday on the show. Ah! <laughs> I hope I get the Benetton question. No, 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 no. I've, I've, I've got, I've got a list of, uh, list of things um, that I'm gonna ask. Uh, whatever comes to your mind, that's my answer. So the first thing you think is, is it pops out your mouth. Uh, and if we're gonna start with the benching, since you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna. What's your favorite food? Benching. <laughs> How would you? Since so you're, you're in your prime right now. How would you ask a girl out using the word benching? How would I ask it out? Who's saying what? Using the word benefit. What's your What's your best pickup line? Or hookup line? Is it pickup or hookup? You're not picking up. You're hooking up. Hookup line. Shit. I've not done this in so long. I don't. I don't even remember how to pick up a girl. Uh, you, know. you don't change. They change you now. <laughs> I don't. Even, I've not done this. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Uh, <laughs> best pickup line. <laughs> Yeah, it's not Benetton. It's not Benetton. It's not Benetton. Hey! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> we don't support piracy. That was huh? used yesterday. <laughs> piracy, that, piracy. That wasn't used yesterday. Right. That wasn't used yesterday. It was used yesterday. I didn't hear it. It was over that used yesterday. I, Next one. Acha. <laughs> Acha. Okay. Start again. Do another one. I just said it already, man. Come on, don't don't okay, do this. Okay, we'll move on to the next. We'll move on to the next. What would be the worst experience you could ever encounter in Gambia? Worst experience in Gambia that you've ever encountered in Gambia? The worst experience I could ever encounter in Gambia. Oof! It has to be funny. No dry jokes. And it's after eight, so you can actually be a bit explicit. Um, the worst, the worst thing that ever happened to me. I, uh, I actually tried to do it last Sunday. Walk to walk around with my kaba in the street to see if people would actually recognize me. Yes. You did it. I did, but it was just in a little group, you know. <laughs> but I might do it, you know. I did. <laughs> like everyone just started shouting, like because they actually recognized me already. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you're lucky you didn't get chased for for being a whole. <laughs> I, I did it last Sunday. I did it last Sunday. <laughs> did you go to church? Did you go to church? No. <laughs> did you did you walk by your church? I, I didn't go to church. You my, didn't mom, walk by your my, my mom did. <laughs> my mom did. <laughs> what are the top three things? What are the top three things you love about your country? My country? Yeah. Uh the food mm-hmm. number one. Number two. Um I love the I don't I don't know what's the word for it. The way I don't know, it's just now that religion is just, you know, everybody's just we have some people who are just so big on religion, but I love the way Christians and Muslims interact and you know mm-hmm. come out together as one. Because when even when I was away, that's one of the things I used to brag about. Hey, you know, in Gambia Everybody's like together. If it's Christmas, everybody's 
just having fun. If it's to basketball, we're just having fun together, you know. So that's mm-hmm. one of the things I used to brag about my country. Number three, oh, man, there's not a lot of things that I can remember. But mm-hmm. um, it's the third one I would say. You can't say it because somebody's watching. Is that it? Sorry. You can't say it because somebody's watching. Some people are watching. Is that one of those? No, no, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not. I, I know. I know what you think. I want to say. I know. I know what you think. I want to say. Can but... you me? <laughs> oh, okay. The people are nice. The people are nice. The, the food. People. What? I said, keep on. You said three. I said three. I, yeah, food. <laughs> People are nice and interaction. Okay. What what two things would you would you not do without on a deserted island? Without, if you're on a deserted island, what two things would you take with you? Would I not do or would do? Would you take with you? Oh, okay. Definitely my phone and a camera. Huh? Sorry, definitely my my camera. And my uh, my phone, yeah. Because these Will things. Will you eat your um, camera and your phone? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can I can do that to broadcast to people to bring me food. Hey, I didn't think about that one now. Yeah. Smart man. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, anything is possible with a camera nowadays, you know. So. Of course. <laughs> because. And last and final one. Mm. What would do you? What what? Excuse me, I need to catch my breath. What would your la- what would your advice to Gambians be? Like the youth at the moment, what would you advise? Why would I sorry, what would I advise what Gambians? What would you advise the young at the moment? What would you your what a few lines of inspiration for the youth that are watching you today? What would you say? Stay in school, number one, because definitely education is, is, is the key. Nowadays you can't even get a job, man, as a as a, like a driver or something without them asking for your C V. Or something mm-hmm. stay in school kids is very important um mm-hmm. yeah um if you want to also i mean you can you can you can also be in school and also chase your dreams and do whatever you want to do on the side i mean who says you have to limit yourself don't limit mm-hmm. yourself just do whatever you have to do whatever that makes you happy not whatever not illegal stuff obviously but i mean mm-hmm. just make sure you do what you do once you i think once you're happy just do what you have once you're happy is the most important thing you know mm-hmm. so um yeah i mean just follow follow your dreams do you don't worry about what people mm-hmm. say people are always going to talk yeah. regardless you know so i mean mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. stay in school and do you yeah so um uh which brings me to my next question who's your favorite gambian artist at the moment right now music i love jizzle right now jizzle jizzle is my favorite artist right now so you you understand Sosa before? I don't understand Sosa so much, but I I mean he makes you he makes you he makes Sosa seem easy. I'm telling you, like I just find myself singing to the song to his songs, and I don't even understand sometimes what he's saying. I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you, like he makes like uh, he like there's one of these videos on Sunday we were hanging out somewhere, and I was just singing to some girl was just using her phone, doing some Snapchat videos. And I was actually looking at myself in the video. I was like I'm actually singing to the song. You know, I didn't even realize that I knew I knew the words to the song, but you know, Jizzle makes everything look so easy because that's how much his songs are actually flying out every time. You know, mm-hmm. I hear it. It's nice in my car. I'm playing his song just now. When I was coming back, I was playing bumping to his song. You know, he, he's good. Nobles is good. I love Nobles as well. G is good. I love his rapping. You know, uh, but he's. I like the Jaya and Asago Yeah, he's he's he's. Nobody, nobody, I. He's been quiet for some time. Everybody gets always angry with me. Crap, you know, he doesn't take crap <laughs> from no one. And then he'll say, "Oh no, I'm not allowed." And they talk over. I'm like, "Doesn't take crap from no one." Attack, actually, yeah. Attack. I find myself liking Attack as well. I've been even on my TikTok. I posted one of my videos dancing to his songs. You know, I was like, "Wow," because I mean, which song was that? Dangal, dangal, dangal. Hey, hey, that's my jam. You know. Yeah. That's my, that's, that's Hi, my dad, Danga that's my Yeah, huh? I posted a video. Um, I posted a video of myself dancing to that song. You know the words, video. right? Yeah, I know the words to that song, but I'm not singing the song. <laughs> I, 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 I just know Hi, Danga Danga. 
That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> but do you actually think that, okay, you, are Gambian men dangal the way they, like the, the, the image that's portrayed in the video. Let's talk about the video since it's your favorite song. Okay. You've seen the video, I'm sure. Yes. What are Gambian men? Nakal and Mel. Yeah. No, are they like this? Guri Gamet Dangarik. Dangarik. For real? <laughs> yeah. Dangarik. For real? For real, man. We have a lot of people that just Dangarik. Yeah. But why? I don't know. And I guess, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think, I don't, I don't want to use the word. We have too many fake people. Fake guys. Like, even so, I'm going to say, you want to, to, to portray to other people that Danga um you tell people that Lila Lila. We have a lot of, I just see a lot of kids growing up that way, you know, um trying to impress people. Even with girls stomach. So I don't know, but we're not talking about girls here, but what about us? What about you? Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> me? No, me I am I'm, I'm cool man. I'm 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 not I don't want Danga. What you see is what yeah. you get. Yeah, what you see is what you get. I mean, if, I don't know who's watching, but maybe someone knows me out there. Maybe you can testify to that as well. Yeah. What you see is what you get. You know, I don't, I don't, like, I know it's, they say it's good to um, to aim high and want big things and all that in life. But then I, for me, I don't, if I don't have it, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. I don't go around tangle and say the ma amli, the ma amli, the shone, the ma am dole, or the ma definitely, or whatever I say stands and all these things. No, am I a very mm -hmm. outside? I'm a very, I would say, quiet mm -hmm. person and shy person. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Are you dating? Are you in a relationship? <sighs> oh, your face just switched. <laughs> Because I, I was praying you didn't ask me this question. Like, I knew you. you were. Not like that all. Why would I? <laughs> yeah. You are? Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's a very lucky girl. But how, how does she... Because I know she loves, She probably loves what you do. But do, is she a critic? Like, does she criticize everything? Like, baby, don't do it like uh, this. And, you know, you should have done it like that. Honestly, she, she doesn't like it. <laughs> She doesn't like it. She actually told me that. I was like, I don't like it. I was like, okay. What's there not to like? Who's this? Okay. I was like, okay. Because she thought I was just doing it for um, for fun. She's like, fun. Yeah, for fun. She's like, are you going to get anything out of it? Are you going to, do you have plans to take you? Do you, you know how you women think sometimes? Like, she wants me to, <laughs> I don't blame her. I mean, it's good to, for her to think. In the mm -hmm. long run, in the future as well. I mean, are you gonna get something out of it? Blah blah blah. Are you plan? Are you planning to take mm -hmm. these things out? You know, she's more worried about my image in terms of employment and like if I, if for example, I want to go get a job, people are like, aren't you that guy on TikTok or on Facebook make playing jokes and everything? How now? We're not gonna hire you. I was like, look, this is me. I mean, I I just love to make people laugh. It does, this doesn't really, I mean. Yes, um, I have my educational background. I've done what I had to do. I paid my dues already for yeah, yeah, to, my, to, uh, to my education. And there's just something else that my, you know, who knows, might bring extra income if at all. We if I mean, I mean, if you believe in it, then it's never too late. I, like I said before, I, I see you doing bigger things, um, especially with the comedy. I don't know about your engineering stuff. Uh, to be honest, I don't know anything about that. Are you looking at my face while I tell you this? About I what? don't know anything about that, but I know that you're funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I won't finish my statement because I'm trying to keep it kosher, but you're funny as hell. And I, I feel like you can take this to the ne another level. Um, so you. my last my last two questions, um, I think you kind of avoided it before. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? I, I, was, I was actually coming to that. I, I might be... In the movie industry in the next five years, I, I don't know. Um, okay. Because, yeah, I, 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 I'm actually thinking about writing serious scripts. Since my, 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 my neighbor, the one I was telling you about, he said, why don't you do something like what the Senegalese are doing? And I've been thinking about it. Mm. I've been giving it some serious thoughts. Um, I was like, maybe I would just, who knows, I might just start, you know, because it all just starts with one single step. You just have to ask you know, the right person. How does this work? Or blah blah, and then you know, it's, everything just starts pointing out on its own. 
So I, I might be in the movie industry or, you know, this theater industry, who knows, in the media, media, I would say, because mm-hmm. I definitely love the media. Um, what inspires you the most? Uh, what wake, what, when you wake up every day, this has got nothing to do with comedy. What inspires you every day to keep going? Because it's good to know what kind of person you are, regardless of the entertainment. Yeah, for the what fact that, you know, I... The fact that um, I know I'm getting to that. Okay, I'm actually at that age already. You know, I said, okay, maybe I'm thinking about settling down. You know, I'm thinking about having kids as well. So, just the fact that, just just the thought of those things, like you know what, I would, I definitely want to make my whoever my wife is going to be happy. Comfortable. I would want. Oh, your girlfriend won't want to hear that. Whoever my wife is gonna be, she won't want to hear that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Anything happens. How are you running plan? God plan in time. So, yeah, so you, yeah, 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 yeah. You never yeah. know. So, um, got a plan, and then God, 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 you know. So, yeah. So just waking up every day and not know what you have to be focused. Do what you gotta do. Get your money up and everything. Do do things and then. Everything will be okay. I mean, just I don't have I don't even if I don't I'm not so 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 rich, you know. But as long as I'm comfortable, I can make my family comfortable as well. I mean, this is so great. I'm like, you know what? You, you should go get this. Go get this. Be a go getter. Go get it. So mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we have a joke, please, before you leave? No, you can't have a joke. I don't. I have to write my jokes. <laughs> but I promise I'll send you one. Huh? Mayaka, I was here saying like he's gonna leave with a banger, and you're like, no. <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll, I'll just I'll just drop the mic like how they all do, you know. I'll just drop the mic and just walk out. <laughs> how was your experience on the show? Let's uh, we need to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, man. I'm, I was a bit shy at first, but um, it's, it's yeah. okay. I mean, we, we don't have a lot of viewers, but who knows? Maybe later, um, if you no, share, you know it, people are gonna watch it. Now, yeah. you know what they do. They don't open the window. They watch through by just tapping the side. Oh, just the preview. And just, just tap so the So they look through the preview. And right now, if you're watching me, I think you guys are very silly for not watching me properly. Because I need my views to make my shit work. But anyways, but thank you so much, Charles, for, for um, Gabriel, for coming in. It's okay. Uh, Charles is fine. Charles is what they call me at home as well. So it's fine. Yeah? Okay. Thank yeah. you so much for being on the Chit Chat with Chat. Um, I really, absolutely appreciate it. Um, the show is basically for people like you, me, and just every average Joe that's trying mm-hmm. to, you know, spread a little bit of, 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 of sunshine or mm-hmm. a little bit of happy dust somewhere. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. And, and, and I'm glad that you come on to TikTok and come on to Facebook and come on to mm-hmm. social networks because you make us smile. And we appreciate you, and we pray that the blessings of the Almighty carry you, go with you, and follows you onto your journey. And please don't give up what you do because of people, and just follow your heart. So thank you. Thank you so much for being on. Um, thank you. Uh, it was a blessing having you, and it was amazing having you. And I've got so many comments when you go to the comment section. Really? And I'll make sure that I'll link you up with Modu Musa, inshallah. Do that, so man. Do that. Yeah. That see where your journey can take you because I'm sure yeah. you guys have a lot to offer each other. So thank, thank you so you. much for doing the show and you guys you stay so amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you for take having care. me. Bye. Bye. So that was Gabriel Charles uh, Njai, the comedian and slash, actually he's an engineer slash comedian who has been bright enough for uh, social media network with some really amazing sketches and comedy and 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 just making us laugh through this whole crazy pandemic um but i'm gonna sign off for tonight because it's my anniversary and i need to go and at least spend some time with my baby and my big baby and my big baby and a little baby and both babies before we wrap it up for the day but thank you so much for the messages thank you so much for the support Please don't forget to subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. And do not forget to show your support by liking my page, which is the Chit Chat with Chat on Facebook and the Tara Culture on YouTube. Uh, have an amazing weekend. You guys are fabulous. 
it's a Gambian, stay proud, and inshallah, we can do this and we can change the narrative that we are boring, that we are untalented, that we have nothing to offer. So thank you so much for, for, for watching, and I will see you on Monday with another inspiring story by someone that has been, that has gone from grass to grace and definitely needs to tell his story to us. I won't tell you who it is, but inshallah, on Monday you shall find out at 4 p.m. Uh, Jollof time. Um, so thank you for watching again, and have an awesome weekend. Do this people. <laughs> Actually, I might just play, let me play Dangal. I'll play Daniel for my boy. This is his jam. <laughs> this is for you, Gabriel Charles.